Well, welcome back to AM Extra. It is 8-11 on this Wednesday morning. Many Oregon congressional incumbents remain in their seats this morning, including Representative Suzanne Bonamici. You can see she was reelected with 65% of the vote. Yes, and Congresswoman Bonamici joins us live right now. Congratulations. Nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you as well. Good morning. Yeah, so, you know, we want to talk to you first about just uh, what we didn't see last night. Uh, this this blue wave that was predicted to happen. Are, are you worried about being able to get stuff done uh, because the Senate has not uh, has not gone blue the way that some maybe thought it would? I mean, what are your thoughts on all of that? Well, first of all, I'm so honored to be reelected to yeah. serve in Congress, and I spent many years in the minority party. I'm willing to work with anybody uh, to get done what Oregonians need. Now, I have to say, I'm looking forward to serving in a with a Biden-Harris administration and every vote needs to be counted. I, I just want to note how concerned I was that the president last night tried to stop counting of votes, which is not the way democracy works. Uh, and we have uh, every indication that I'll remain in the majority in the House and that there will be some new senators to work with. So I will work with anyone. Obviously, the strategy is going to be different depending on uh, on the administration. But uh, Oregonians need uh, COVID relief. Uh, I, of course, work on education issues and, and, and a lot of other things that are important to Oregonians. We're going to get that done and continue to work on their behalf regardless. Yeah, you mentioned COVID relief representative and there had been talk going into this election uh, that there would be a, another round of stimulus checks going out to the American people. Where does that stand? Because November 3rd has come and gone and we have not seen those checks. Absolutely. Well, and some people are still struggling to get their first economic impact check. Uh, my office has been helping many of them. Uh, here, here's the issue, uh, Jenny and Emily. We, the House, passed several different versions. We passed uh, back in the spring uh, the CARES Act, the comprehensive bill. Uh, and at that time, I think it was the general understanding that by fall, uh, we'd be back to some kind of normal. Uh, back in May, when the House realized that we weren't yet seeing the trends that we needed in uh, reduction of cases. We passed the HEROES Act, which is another comprehensive relief bill. We sent it to the Senate. It sat, it sat, it sat. Negotiations continued. Uh, then early October, we passed yet another bill and sent it to the Senate. So it's not the House that's the problem. Now, if, if we need to go back and continue those negotiations, I am 100% uh, behind that because we know that too many people are still struggling and we need to get them some support that they need to get through these challenging times. Yeah, you know, you touched on the fact that all the votes do need to be counted. What, what is your reaction to the, the tight presidential race we're seeing? We still don't have a, a winner. Well, my reaction is that everybody needs to, to just relax and wait for the votes to be counted. Uh, I, I watched the, the press conference last night that the president did. I was very, very concerned. That's not the way democracy works, <laughs> to, to take a point in an election when one is ahead and say, okay, now we need to stop counting. Everyone deserves their vote to be counted. And I, and I want to note as well that here in Oregon, we've had uh, a safe and secure vote by mail uh, system for decades, and we know it works. We know that it kept people safe, uh, especially during COVID. When I saw people standing in long lines uh, with with people, you know that that raises concerns because there's still a pandemic. Uh, there are, were voter suppression efforts at some of these poll polling places, and a lot of other states increased the ability to do absentee voting, which is essentially a vote by mail, or expanded existing systems. And they're not set up like Oregon is uh, to process them quickly. So we knew when people made that decision, which I rightly believe they should have had to be able to vote by mail in a pandemic, we knew it would take longer. Mm -hmm. uh, but that doesn't mean that their votes shouldn't be counted. This is a democracy. Everyone's vote should be counted. Yeah, we, we certainly saw it work well yet again for Oregon, and uh, we will be watching that vote count throughout the rest of the week. Congresswoman, thank you. We appreciate your time this morning. Congratulations again on re-election, and uh, good luck as you yes, head back sir. to Washington.